uh, start out with you making a general comment about the game, and then we'll go to questions, please. Well, their defense was as advertised. Uh, we got six first downs for the game, and uh, you know, you can't. It's hard to replicate. You know, their size, speed, and physicality in practice. And, um, I thought our kids played hard. You know, so you ask your kids to play as hard as they can. They played hard. Our defense played outstanding. Outstanding. Their defense played outstanding. We kind of knew it was going to be like this. That's a really good football team. I think everybody knows that, and that's the reason they got 13 state championships. We knew that going in, and we were so excited for the challenge. And you know, these are great kids. Questions? You could uh, raise your hand, and we'll come around with a microphone, please. Terry Howell, Talkback Fans, Coach. You talked about your defense. I thought that McGuire Boyd might have had the hit of the year today, and I thought the job that he and Gino Blessini did defensively was just outstanding. Could you talk about how they fit in that scheme? Well, the entire defense, you know, had to do their job, and, and we, you know, kept them out of the end zone a couple times, and then they got, you know, short field and scored, and then, you know, the other one, their defense scored, so. Our defense was lights out. Coach Beeler did a great job, and these kids executed and ran to the ball and tackled. And, you know, they played as hard as they can. <laughs> they, they, they did. I don't know. It was uh, something. One team had to win, one team had to lose. We came out on the, on the short end of it, but I mean, 16 games and what fun we had with these guys here. I'll never forget it. You know, they, we had a great, great time this year, and, uh, you know, the, my son. Has known these kids since kindergarten, <laughs> so I grew up watching these guys play t-ball and everything else. And uh, I'm gonna miss them. Questions? Conditions today, and I don't know if that had anything to do with the fact. My sense is both teams were sloppier than they are during the regular season. Is that because the other team forces you to be that in a game that's evenly matched, or did you feel like the sloppiness, and I'll ask Coach Goodwin the same, is something that is in your control and you, didn't, you weren't as precise today as you'd like to be? Well, I think when you're going against a defense like that, that causes you to be a little more sloppy. You're in some situations that, you know, didn't happen a lot during the season. You know, we didn't have this many third and longs the whole season. I don't know how many times we punted today, but I think we only punted 13 times the whole season. So I think we, whatever, we punted uh, seven. Seven. seven times tonight. So, But we kind of knew it was going to be, you know, I kind of thought we needed 14 to 20 points to win a game, and, and we didn't get there. And, we, you know, we tried. It wasn't for lack of effort. It wasn't for lack of practice. It wasn't for lack of um, anything else other than sometimes you play a team that's really good. And I think it, they're a very good football team. Coach, what was the thought, the dilemma, whatever, at halftime where you decide which way you want to defend to start the third when you want to win in the third or the fourth quarter? Uh, what decision making went into that? Well, we wanted to win to kick off and pin them back and, you know, maybe get a stop and a score and tie it up. And, you know, so that's why we took the win in the third and then we, the fourth quarter was tough against the win. Um, but, you know, I'm, like I said, I'm so proud of these kids. You know, what they've accomplished over their four years is incredible, you know. Coach, my question is kind of similar to that. There in the end of the third quarter, you guys were getting ready to punt. You took a timeout on third down. I thought we got the first down. I, okay. I wanted them to review it, and they, they wouldn't review it. I thought if we took a timeout, they'd review it. I thought the kid got a foot in bounds, and I thought it was a first down. That's the only reason I wasted that last time out. Okay, my question though would be then on the fourth down, did you think about taking, even though it would have been your last one, to, to make them punt it into the wind, their last possession, I to punt know. it into the wind? Instead of getting. I don't think we had any timeouts left. Yep. Yeah, okay. That was the end of the third quarter. End of the third quarter, I'm sorry, yeah, third quarter. I don't know. I think if we had one timeout left, I think, I, I mean, I, I didn't want to waste it. You know what I mean? I need. We needed it in the fourth quarter. We actually needed it to, to challenge that one, but it, it didn't work. Coach, talk about the defensive performance. Uh, you guys came up with a couple of uh, interceptions there, and especially had a huge goal line stand. Uh, how big was that when McGuire Boyd had that hit? How? Oh, it was awesome. I mean, he. You know, 
he read it and he went after it and he made a perfect tackle. And, um, our kids did a nice job on the stand there. And then offensively, we just didn't do enough. We didn't get enough first downs to switch the field position and we gave them, gave the ball right back to them on a short field, and that's what they ended up, you know, scoring their first touchdown on. Um, Coach, could you just talk about the, uh, the scoring play and sequence? You know, it was a sudden change with the fumble, and then you know, you guys fourth fourth down situation, you convert on fourth and eight. Yeah, we got a turnover. We got a short field, which we obviously needed, and and uh, you know, I think I had to take a timeout there too, just to get the right play called. And, you know, we protected the quarterback well, and he made a good pass, and, and Seal made a nice catch. We missed the extra point. <laughs> Coach. Um, what do you think went wrong on Jake's pass that was returned for a touchdown there? You know what, we, I don't know. I, I have to look at the film to see exactly what happened. But, uh, you know, we we thought we there was a seam open, and obviously the safety made a good play and got over there and got it. You know, he overthrew it or threw it too far to the inside off the look. But, uh, yeah, you know, there's it's a fine line between, you know, we don't throw the ball much. And then when you're behind and you can't run the ball and you're playing a defense like that, then you got to throw it a little bit and then that happens. So that's the, that's the balance that, you know, you want to, we'd love to just run the ball and never throw it. But they're so good on defense that uh, we had to, we had to throw, we had to throw it for one touchdown. But then we, you know, big six was very, very crucial. Oh, coach, you're, you and Tim Goodwin are two of the most successful coaches in the state of Ohio, but for this year in particular, you had the chance to coach both your son Phil and your son Jake. Um, what has this season in particular uh, meant to you, and perhaps for the players, what's been their happiest memory of these four years? Well, like I said earlier, I've known, like a lot of the teams, you, I mean, you know all the kids, but these kids, I grew up with their parents and, and him and all these seniors. All their parents and us have, you know, gone to games together since first, second grade, little KYBL basketball. I mean, forever. So it's different when your kids on the team. There's not, it's, there's different. You know, the families are friends and not just families in the community. They're like all friends of ours. And these kids are all awesome. They're, they're incredible kids. This is probably the, some of the best leaders we've ever had. It's a small senior class, but there's, they're great character kids and they're great leaders in the community. And they're very good students. And, you know, it sucks we lost, but I couldn't be more proud of these kids, I'm telling you. Hey, Coach, in the fourth quarter, uh, the pass that went to Will Sale, it looked like he had a foot in on the sideline. Uh, it would allow you to retain possession. But what, it seemed, there was a lengthy discussion afterwards. What, what was the uh, discussion with the refs after that play? <laughs> they, they didn't review it, or they, they said the guys upstairs wouldn't review it. That's the reason I called the timeout, and they still didn't review it. And the guys on the field are like, hey, they're not reviewing it. Call play. You just lost the timeout. But they never did review it. I mean, to my knowledge, they said that, hey, they're not reviewing it, which I don't know why you have instant replay. You're not going to use it. Phil and George, a lot, of, a lot was made. We had a lot of chances to reflect this week on what you guys accomplished as seniors coming up through the years, going back to sixth grade. Uh, what does that mean to you? And also, especially Phil, since you have a younger brother, George, since you've been around so long. What message have you had, or will you have, to the younger guys coming up? Well, I mean, I hope I, I showed these kids um, how, to be, how to be the best leader they can and how to take control of the locker room and, how, and just go out there and play every play like it's your last. I mean, we came into this game, and, I mean, we knew Mary Local was going to be very, very, very good. And, I mean, just... These last four years, I've seen I've seen so much being being able to play all these four years, all through all four state games in my career. I mean, I've seen so much from all these seniors, and I've taken different pieces, and it's just been. I mean, hopefully these kids can learn that anything anything they want to do, they can, and that it takes you have to be you have to be not only good on on the field, but you have to be a good person off the field to be successful. Yeah, we, I just hope that we showed all the younger kids that you don't have to be good in 7th, 8th, and ninth grade to be a good varsity player. Like, we probably spend more time in the weight room than at home over the last four years. Like, every day we were in there. So 
I hope we showed the younger young kids how to work hard and, and they'll be great. Okay, two more questions over here and then up here. This one's for Tommy. Tommy, I, I want to congratulate you on, on an outstanding playoff run and an outstanding career. Um, you know, what you did the last few weeks was just ridiculous. Um, can you talk about what it means to be with this group for your last game of football? Because I know you've said you're not planning on playing at the next level. I just want to say thank you for, I appreciate that. And um, Like you said, been with these guys past, or the past, my whole life pretty much. And to be able to go out there and compete every day and work hard and be in the weight room, on the practice field, anything together. It's just, we've come so close together. and It's memories like these that I'll never forget for the rest of my life. So I'm thankful for all this. Coach, um, you've said two or three times in the course of this interview about what a good defense this is. Specifically, what makes their defense so good? Because this is not as big a Marion team physically as it's been in the past. There's a lot of things missing from this team that they characteristically have. What makes them so good defensively? Well, they're very well coached, and they're, they're very fast. Uh, and they, they run all different kinds of blitzes, and, uh, you know, it was it was really hard for us to move the ball. I mean, you know, typically we want to run the ball, you know, 80 percent of the time, and I see that we threw 18 passes tonight, which is the most we've thrown all year. But we kind of got ourselves behind the sticks. You know, we couldn't we couldn't get four 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 and, and, and just get going on them. They're 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 too good. But I think it's I mean they're fast and physical and and well coached. All right, thanks guys.